It unfolded right before our eyes. Starship Flight 6. Absolutely spectacular. There were numerous changes and unexpected developments that surprised us all. So, what exactly happened, and what have the astronauts and insiders said about it? Let's find out everything in today's episode. SpaceX once again rocked the world of space technology with a new test flight of the Starship Super Rocket, the most powerful launch vehicle humanity has ever built. On Tuesday afternoon at the prime time of 5 p.m. Eastern, the mighty two-stage rocket was ready for its next adventure. As the countdown hit zero, the colossal machine began to rise vertically off the launch pad, unleashing a staggering force from engines capable of generating over 16 million pounds of thrust at full power. Just two minutes and 39 seconds after liftoff, the Starship upper stage separated flawlessly from the Super Heavy booster. With the mission of reaching the planned altitude completed and most of its fuel consumed, Super Heavy began its own spectacular performance. The original goal was to make a precise landing on Mechazilla at Starbase. However, just like the fifth test flight, SpaceX set strict criteria for both the vehicle and the launch pad before allowing Super Heavy to return and attempt the catch. This required all systems on both the booster and the launch tower to operate flawlessly, along with a final confirmation from the mission director. The company made it clear, if they didn't get confirmation before completing the reverse thrust, or if any automatic checks detected issues with Super Heavy or the launch tower, the booster would automatically switch to the backup plan, performing a soft landing in the Gulf of Mexico. Throughout the flight, Super Heavy showcased impressive power and stable operation. However, during the live broadcast of the sixth test flight, Dan Hewitt, a SpaceX representative, delivered some critical news. We tripped a commit criteria. This announcement led to the decision to redirect Super Heavy for a controlled landing in the Gulf of Mexico. Just about four minutes after liftoff, the plan to catch the booster was called off, and three minutes later, Super Heavy completed its flight with a vertical splashdown in the sea. The decision to change course came early, but this turned out to be a positive sign. It showed how quick and efficient SpaceX's monitoring systems and decision-making processes are. To the naked eye, the landing seemed faster than expected, and the hovering time probably wasn't enough for a safe catch. Particularly, the boost-back cutoff phase, the moment when the booster's reverse thrust was cut off, happened earlier than planned. Elon Musk had pointed out the goal for Flight 6 before launch. Faster? harder booster catch, indicating that the company had anticipated and prepared for this scenario. After that, we could see a stunning sight as Super Heavy made contact with the waters of the Gulf of Mexico. The impact was intense, causing a spectacular explosion visible from the coast, and it happened pretty close. But the issue did not lie with the Super Heavy booster. It was the catching tower. In SpaceX's official broadcast, we heard the announcement, tower is go for catch, signaling that the tower was ready to perform the catch. But later, images showed what appeared to be damage to the communications and lightning protection systems on top of the integration tower. And in their latest update, they stated, During this phase, automated health checks of critical hardware on the launch and catch tower triggered an abort of the catch attempt. The booster then executed a pre-planned divert maneuver, performing a landing burn and soft splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. So the booster nailed it. However, the issue with the tower was likely beyond SpaceX's expectations. So what about the spacecraft? Starship put on an incredibly impressive performance in orbit with a very special passenger, a banana that became the first astronaut of this flight. Immediately after separation, six powerful Raptor engines fired up, propelling the spacecraft into space. By T plus 0755, the vacuum engines had completed their mission and shut down as planned. Then, at T plus 0827, the three standard Raptor engines also powered down one by one. But the most remarkable moment came at T plus 3745 after liftoff, when Starship successfully activated one of its engines in space, an important technological milestone that SpaceX had been aiming for from the very beginning. SpaceX quickly confirmed the success on the X platform with pride. Starship has successfully ignited one of its Raptor engines while in space for the first time. This marks a major step forward for Starship in achieving full orbit and executing complex maneuvers, paving the way for long-duration space missions in the future. At T plus 39 minutes and 12 seconds, plasma began to appear, signaling Starship's re-entry. Despite purposefully removing part of the heat shield tiles from the side, the spacecraft held up beautifully. Less than a kilometer above the ocean, at T plus 010509, the engines ignited for the landing phase. Starship completed its mission with a vertical descent into the ocean, successfully repeating the landing achievement from previous flights. 
the flight sent the space community into a frenzy. Although it was a no-go for booster catch this time, the industry's response was electric. Veteran astronaut Chris Hadfield was excited even before the launch, sharing, This will be very cool. Watch the Starship launch live from high overhead on the space station. Right after the mission wrapped up, private astronaut and Polaris program benefactor Jared Isaacman tweeted his congratulations. Congrats to SpaceX. Soon we go back. And then on to the Red Planet. SpaceX President Gwyn Shotwell couldn't hide her pride. SpaceX teams continuing to make the nearly impossible look easy. Clearly, Flight 6 was a success for SpaceX. They've managed to make controlling these beasts, towering 50 and 70 meters high and weighing hundreds of tons, and landing them vertically seem like something normal. The flight has delivered a wealth of critical, invaluable data that once again showcase SpaceX's extraordinary ability to turn science fiction into reality. This mission is a solid foundation for the next steps in the Starship development program. Elon Musk shared his excitement on X with updates like, Successful ocean landing of Starship. We will do one more ocean landing of the ship. If that goes well, then SpaceX will attempt to catch the ship with the tower. But this is just the beginning. He added, To the moon and beyond. So, SpaceX is only getting started. Elon Musk has given us a glimpse of an exciting near future for the Starship program. The upcoming seventh test flight, the grand debut of Starship Thofirf 2, could follow a similar flight profile to Flight 6, aiming to prove that Starship Thofirf 2 can surpass all the milestones achieved by the V-1 version. Repeating the success of such a complex mission would be the clearest evidence of SpaceX's reliability and consistency in its technology. But what's even more thrilling is what's waiting for us with the eighth flight. According to Musk's hints, this could be the first time in history that both stages of Starship, the Super Heavy Booster, and the Starship spacecraft itself, safely return together. A scenario like this would be a groundbreaking achievement in aerospace history, taking the concept of reusable rockets to entirely new heights. SpaceX's development path is looking even more promising with the special attention it's receiving from high-level leaders, highlighted by former President Donald Trump's visit to the company's launch site in Texas. This signals strong support from various quarters, reinforcing the belief that SpaceX is heading in the right direction. Before the launch, the former president enthusiastically shared, I'm heading to the great state of Texas to watch the launch of the largest object ever to be elevated, not only to space, but simply by lifting off the ground. Good luck to Elon Musk and the great patriots involved in this incredible project. These words underscored the historic significance of the Starship project within the global space industry. With an outpouring of support and congratulations from politicians, the scientific community, and tech enthusiasts, SpaceX's future has never looked brighter. Ambitious plans to send humans to the moon and eventually to Mars are getting closer by the day. In the years ahead, we're bound to witness even more incredible technological breakthroughs from SpaceX. To ensure you don't miss any key updates on this thrilling journey, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We're committed to providing in-depth analysis and the latest news on SpaceX's every step towards conquering the cosmos.